Dear investors, welcome to Philip Securities Research Weekly Market Update. Equity markets the world over have been weak, but we could be seeing a rebound in the near term. For one, Greek election polls have without exception over the weekend indicated that pro-austerity party New Democracy has taken the lead from anti-bailout Syriza. If this holds, a pro-austerity coalition may well form, in which case Greece would abide by its bailout terms and stay within the Eurozone. At the same time, Chancellor Merkel is under pressure at home and from France and Italy that joint liability eurobonds may be in Germany's long-term economic interest, as the country benefits greatly from the Eurozone as an export destination. Calls for a growth strategy are also growing in Europe as leaders are well aware from Greece's experience that a pure austerity approach risks a political pushback. On the policy front, China is also posturing quite heavily that a major stimulus is imminent, while in the US there is a growing chorus amongst officials that QE3 may be required. We have been guiding in our morning notes and from formal reports that a near-term rally is very likely on policy moves. Longer term though, the trend for equities may still be down, especially as it is quite evident from broad-based economic slowdowns that the business cycle globally is at the tail end of expansion, not midway through as many seem to believe. China is slowing, the US is slowing, and Europe for all intents and purposes is in recession. Beyond Greece, another global negative catalyst remains, and that is the major fiscal withdrawals facing the US on the 1st of January next year. That is the end of the Bush-era tax cuts and other automatic cuts, totaling half a trillion dollars of aggregate demand to be sucked out of the economy next year. This will be debated in Congress this August, and a political deadlock could well royal markets once more. Thank you for watching, and tune in next week to Philip Securities Research Weekly Market Update.